Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're discussing why people turn to self-harm. So people turn to self-harm for a number of reasons. First to establish what self-harm is. Self-harm is something where you deliberately cause harm to yourself with a non-suicidal intent. Some examples include cutting, burning, pulling hair, headbanging, picking scabs, etc etc. So now we've identified what self-harm is, let's talk about why people do it. People use self-harm as a coping mechanism for bigger things. A lot of the time it includes mental illness. They self-harm as a way of coping with what they're dealing with, whether that's hearing voices, hallucinating, visually, delusions, depression, anxiety, paranoia, siren. I know for me, my experience with self-harm is I turned to it because I didn't know how else to cope with the abuse that I was going through. And then after, long story short, I got addicted to it and I carried on doing it until last year. I'm currently 18 months self-harm free, which is fucking incredible. But honestly, it is a coping mechanism. It's a coping strategy that people use when they don't know what else to do. It's addictive, and that's why people end up self-harming for a long time in their lives. I know someone on Twitter that I follow has self-harmed for 33 years. Self-harm isn't an easy thing to deal with. It's very complicated. Because you want to stop, but then something happens and you don't know how to cope with it because you've got no coping mechanisms. Fuck off, boss. Honestly, self-harm is just something that happens and there's no logical reasons to why it happens or who is the first person to self-harm. And honestly, I don't even know why I, I decided to hurt myself. I can't remember that far ago, that long ago. My advice to you is if you are self-harming, please try and find an alternative coping mechanism. Because self-harm can get serious. You can get infections, you can end up in an A&E, you can end up sectioned because of it. Self-harm is not something to take lightly. Yes, I know it's addictive and it, the urges are hard to beat, but you can do it. I believe in you. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.